And city officials say the borderline relies heavily on imports and exports between our city and Mexico. And if the border does shut down, it can affect more than just El Paso's economy. KTSM 9 News reporter Tatiana Favela is live near the U.S.-Mexico border to explain who can potentially see that effect. Mayor DiMargo says El Paso is not the only community that can see an economic impact of trade with Mexico if the president does decide to shut the border down. It would be a devastating impact on El Paso. It would be devastating to the rest of Texas, and it would be devastating to the nation. That's Mayor DiMargo's response to the president's statement of shutting down the Mexico border, which still has yet to occur. We have on an annualized basis through fiscal year 2018, $101 billion dollars of, of trade, imports and exports going through. That would all be shut down. That is a killer. We have 115,000 employees tied to the Maquila programs in the uh, north of the border, in our area, in our region. There are 559,000 employees in northern Mexico tied to the Maquilas. It would have a devastating impact. However, some borderland suppliers, like Lone Star Welding, say the work once done with maquilas in Mexico doesn't exist with them anymore. Uh, they basically switched over to the, uh, the Mexican companies uh, that actually producing the products that they needed us, that we used to, to supply. Owner Jerry Oxner of Lone Star Welding says he has other worries instead. If it does persist and, and the, we keep a flow of people coming over, it will affect us as far as the tax base to, um, will, will have to be increased in order to take care of all these people. And so there will be a, uh, a quite a bit, I'm, I'm afraid, in taxes that will be increased in El Paso. Meanwhile, Mayor Margo shares if the federal government continues to slack its efforts with proper immigration reform, the entire nation could see a consequence. My hope and prayer is that we do not have this occur, but that is what the economic impact would be on our community, and it would be significant for El Paso, it would be significant for Texas, and it would be critical for the United States. Mary Margo says he has not been contacted by the White House over the potential shutdown, but if contacted, he said he would testify on behalf of the city. Live near the U.S.-Mexico border, Tatiana Favela, KTSM 9 News.